Cottage Reef is between Point Lonsdale and Queenscliff, looking out towards uh, the entrance to Port Phillip. There's the entrance there, that's Point Lonsdale on the right and Point Nepean on the left. Um, it's best to dive here when there's no waves, but you can't always get your conditions right. Just make sure the housing isn't leaking. And swim out due south for about 100 metres until you find uh, a two metre high rock wall covered with kelp with deep undercuts, ledges and swim throughs. Visibility wasn't too good today, but uh, all the actions under the ledge, this is a little hydroid or related to anemones and jellies. These are the arms of a feather star. Lots and lots of light packed into the little crevices under the ledge. Lots of colour. And um, this still shot shows you some of the colour. That's the, the feather star. This is uh, Gorgonian or fan coral. Quite a bit of current at times here, so uh, filter feeders that love current grow in abundance under the ledges. Sea star, sponges, bryozoans or uh, lace coral. This shows some of the colour. Another still shot, that's a roughy. Magpie perch. Swim to the right up the reef for a hundred metres or so, then turn around and come back to the original spot. There's a Mado, M A D O, manic little fish. This is a uh, goat fish, and you can see the two, two feelers or barbels under the chin that they use for detecting. Uh, little crustaceans and whatnot in the sand. This is one of the biggest fish we'll see down here. It's a dusky morwong. This one's a juvenile, you can tell by the spots. Great about a metre long, fully grown. These are little juvenile bullseyes, and we'll see the adult versions later on. And that's a scaly fin in the background there. Oh no, it's a white here. Only a couple of centimetres long, these little fellas. There's another more fully grown, dusky more one. Leather jacket of some sort. Quite iridescent green, this one. You see the characteristic uh, barb on top of the head. All leather jackets have them. Lots of marine algae or seaweed. Here's a nudibranch or a sea slug. This one's probably the most common one in Port Phillip. Short-tailed ceratosoma. Moonlighters. Old wife down the bottom there. And uh, in the shadows are the adult bullseyes. interesting rock formations and ledges and more Gorgonians there, or sea fans. You can only dive at Cottage when the current is ebbing, otherwise uh, there's too much water flow. Ascidian closing up. Oops, spat something out, out at us. And here's Trevor. So this is about as far as we swim up the reef and uh, turn around and just swim back along the reef to the starting point and back to the beach. 
This is a good spot to see sea dragons and cuttles, but we didn't see any on this dive, so I've put some stills in here. This is a weedy sea dragon with a tennis ball. Lovely colouring on these. And a giant cuttle. And in winter they get um, quite amorous, as you can see here. And that's a dive at Cottage.